Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to connect a Xbox One controller to a Mac OS computer. Now, the thing to keep in mind is that this best works over wireless uh, support. Um, previously, the Xbox One controllers and Mac OS didn't play that well, uh, but with some recent updates from uh, Apple on the Mac OS side, it actually plays much better with Xbox One controllers. The thing to keep in mind is that Microsoft made things a little confusing because there's various Xbox One consoles. So depending on the controller that you have, it may or may not be compatible. So if you have like an Xbox One X controller, I can guarantee it's gonna work, but for the other consoles, the, the best way to tell if you're gonna have Bluetooth capability, which is what this method is gonna rely on, is the way the faceplate is designed. So if your faceplate has a design that goes all around the Xbox button logo here, right here, and it's the same type of material and plastic as the uh, rest of the faceplate, you're set. That means your controller supports Bluetooth technology. If the Xbox logo button up here has a different type of plastic that matches the top of the controller, chances are your controller is not gonna have Bluetooth capability and this video will not work for you. So with that said, assuming that your controller is compatible, let's continue on. So the first thing you're gonna do is power on the controller by simply pressing and holding the power button, uh, which is the Xbox logo button on the controller. Then you wanna press and hold the sync button at the top for about three seconds until the light starts to really flash a bit faster. And now it's in pairing mode. When you do power on the controller, if it's already synced with your console, to turn off the console itself, just walk over and press and hold the Xbox button on the console itself and it'll shut down. And then we can resume with pairing this to Mac OS. So for this process, you'll actually need administrator privileges on your Mac OS. You're gonna click the Apple button at the top left corner. Then you're gonna hit system preferences, Bluetooth, and you're gonna wait for the Xbox controller to appear and then simply hit connect. At this point, you're pretty much done. You know it's ready and paired and connected when the light on the Xbox controller stops flashing and it turns into a solid color. Now, if you wanna get it up and running with Steam, it requires just a little bit more work. So what you have to do is open up the Steam client and then near the very top right corner, there's a little button that says big picture mode on the Steam client. You wanna click on big picture mode. Uh, this will open up a new version of the Steam client and then you'll get this little prompt saying you need to update your driver software for your controller. Uh, which is completely fine, so go ahead and accept it. Again, you'll need admin privileges to get this installed. It'll ask you to adjust some permissions. Now here's the thing, I ran into an issue where I can install the application drivers just fine, but I could not find what permissions it was talking about. It actually gives you a pop-up screen telling you where to go and what to adjust, except those options don't exist, at least in my Mac OS uh, version, which is very strange. And then after installing it, you know, you open up Steam again, it'll tell you to reboot. reboot and you open up big picture mode, it'll tell you to reinstall the package all over again, going through the same steps, reboot again, do it again. So I had to do this three times and it still prompts me to install the driver updates in the Steam client. So I think it's an issue with the Steam client. So the third attempt, I got another warning saying to install the driver updates. I just hit cancel and started trying to navigate the menu with the Xbox controller and it worked just fine. You know, that means that the driver installed, but Steam isn't recognizing that it, the driver is done for some reason. So just you know, go to the Steam settings, then hit controller settings, and then from here, check Xbox configuration support. Everything you see that I'm navigating is being done with the Xbox controller. I'm just checking this extra option off as a just in case. This is what's recommended by Steam. And pretty much you're good to go. The games will work. So I got that error message, installed the driver, just ignored it and it worked just fine. I think it's an issue with Steam and not Mac OS. Hopefully Valve will address it soon, but that's pretty much it. And your controller is synced up with your Mac OS. Now, in order to pair the controller back to your Xbox console, if you have one, simply power on the controller by pressing and holding the power button again, if it's powered off, and then press and hold the sync button at the top once more for about three seconds so it goes into pairing mode once again. Now, what you wanna do is walk over to your Xbox console and power it on by pressing the Xbox button there and then pressing the sync button on the console itself and it'll pair within like just two seconds and you'll know it's paired when the light stays solid and you can control the Xbox, obviously, with the controller. And that's pretty much it. So if you found this video useful, be sure to check out my social links in the description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.